I was getting ready to make white chili. If you know anything about white chili, it's made with chicken. Except for I accidentally unthawed hamburger instead. And I don't want the hamburger to go to waste. So here we are. While this is cooking, let me show you what else I got going. This bowl contains chickpeas and black beans. Because that's, that's what I use in my version of white chili. Now... A lot of people will be like, oh, you're supposed to use that in cans. But, you know, a can of chickpeas or a can of black beans is what? Like $2 a can? Where, a 15-ounce can? Where you can buy a pound of dry beans for like a dollar of each. And that one pound of dry beans will make four 15-ounce cans. Because to make 15 ounces of beans, you basically use... Um, a half a cup of beans and rehydrate them in water so this is a way that you can stay frugal with your money at your home by using dry beans and just rehydrate them I actually use a little bit more I think I put three quarters cup of each in there but that's gonna be fine so that's my white beans and my black beans I use chickpeas instead of white beans but either way you can use whatever you want you will also need corn and tomatoes, and they always say to get the tomatoes with chili, chilies in it. But you know what? You can get this southern corn, and it's just as good. So just regular, to, regular tomatoes. So just regular tomatoes you would use in like a chili or something, southwestern corn. You're also supposed to use... A uh, fresh onion, but I'm too lazy to walk out in the garden to pick one. So for right now, I'm just going to use onion soup mix. Then I've got ranch dressing. Ground cumin. Chili powder. And you'll also need one stick of cream cheese. After this hamburger dries, after this hamburger fries... I'm going to drain the grease, dump everything into the Instant Pot, and cook it up for 35 minutes on high pressure. Everything but the cream cheese is now in the Instant Pot. I'm just mixing everything up. I also used, since I accidentally unthawed hamburger instead of chicken, you're supposed to use chicken broth, but I use beef broth because, I mean, I used hamburger. So, get this mixed up. Then I'll add the cream cheese on top and we'll see how this turns out. This is how recipes get invented, by the way. You make a mistake, you go with it because you don't waste food. Cream cheese added. I ended up using two packages of cream cheese because this is about double size recipe anyway since I used two pounds of hamburger. <laughs> Um, and also I ended up using two cans of the corn and two cans of the tomatoes and I doubled up basically everything. So here we go. Lid on. Lid on. Pressure cook. 35 minutes. Why 35 minutes? My, the recipe normally only takes 25 minutes. But I'm going to do 35 minutes because I know beans take a little bit longer to cook. And these, although they were soaked for about 4 or 5 hours, they weren't all the way fully rehydrated. So I'm just going to give the cook time a little bit longer. Really. So the cook time's a little bit longer because the beans weren't all the way hydrated yet. 35 minutes. Pressure cook. We'll see how this turns out. Stand by. Here comes the pictures for the video one. And like everything, I got sidetracked and generally you let this do a slow release, but it's been 48 minutes. So we'll go ahead and release whatever's left. We'll take a look and see what we ended up with. Well, this is going to be different, I'm sure. But I bet you it's going to... Oh, it smells actually really good. So it's not quite a white chili, 
because we used hamburger, but I bet you that it's going to still taste pretty, pretty good. Man, it smells heavenly. Anyways, let me get some of this in a bowl and we'll give her a try. I tell you, this this smells like something you would get from like a Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably what it's going to taste like too. Give it a few minutes to uh, cool down and we'll be right back. I hope that it tastes half as good as it smells to be honest with you. Sorry, I ain't going to let you see me actually try this, but I'm going to try it. Oh, wow. That is uh, definitely really good, and it does taste like something you would get from like a Taco Bell. I'll leave the uh, ingredients that I used down in the uh, comments or down in the video description because this is definitely worth a try. And I'll tell you, this would probably be really good on like a tortilla. Like a soft shell tortilla. Like a burrito. Oh man. That's kind of exactly what that tastes like. Definitely going to be a good one. Anyways, thanks for watching. Sometimes mistakes turn out to be a good idea after all. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.